My friends, thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you today as you come together for this important time of conversation and fellowship as our treasured young people in our beloved church. Pope Francis shares with us in Christus Vivit that ministry with young people has to be senatal. It should involve a journeying together that values the charisms that the Spirit bestows. In this way, by learning from one another, we can better reflect that wonderfully multifaceted reality that Christ's church is meant to be. Each one of us belongs to Christ's church. You have God-given gifts and talents to be used for the good of our shared community. As people of faith, seeking to bring the presence of our Lord into this world by how we live, our common witness as Christians for unity, respect, and love of neighbor is essential in our mission to become beacons of Christ's hope and peace in our world. In order for us to work toward and live in peace, there is a need to acknowledge the current challenges in our society and our recent history. There is a cry from our people for recognition of the suffering that many are experiencing because of their immigration status, their country of origin, systemic racism, and cultural discrimination as well as inequities in this current pandemic. Prayer, the work of charity and justice, accountability and unity are essential to working through these challenges and healing. Whether we are speaking of people on the move, our migrant brothers and sisters, or any of us from any culture in our human family, we know that we are created in the image and likeness of God, and therefore we are deserving of respect, care, and joy without threat or harm. Perhaps this is an area in our lives where we can do some reflection about those encounters we are having. If we truly recognize that each person is made in the image and likeness of God, then we accept that we must reach out to those who may be different from us. We must dialogue and accompany not only with those who look like us or who come from the same culture or socioeconomic background as us, but we also must dialogue and enter into relationship with those who live in poverty or who are imprisoned or who have special needs and disabilities. We must dialogue with those whose skin is a different color or whose culture or national origin are different than ours. We must listen and always attempt the honest dialogue we are greatly in need of in our country, in our church, in our communities, and in our families. What does this look like in our daily lives? The Holy Father reminds us that dialogue calls for perseverance and patience. And he notes that there are moments of silence and suffering. We must be realistic in our endeavors and remember that everything is possible with God. As we engage in consistent, productive dialogue with everyone we encounter, we evangelize by using language that is respectful, informed, and charitable. May we always be aware to act in ways that honor the dignity of every person and respects their right to a good life. Your youthfulness is a gift. Your perspective is valued. Your energy is necessary and welcome. We are here to listen and gain understanding from you as we, the elders, accompany you, and you, our young adults, accompany us under the protection of the Holy Family who were refugees and guided by the Holy Spirit.